I am Mr. Plum, and we are Plum and Plumber. This time, we're going to be doing some car mechanical re re re. So, I have a current engine management light for read codes. Now, a P2015 is for, I believe, intake management uh, uh, thingy, manifold thing. And to replace the intake manifold is about 600 quid, which I ain't going to do. So, to get rid of that noncy light, I have this, which is going to stop the engine management intake, sorry, manifold flap going beyond its stop. So we will try fitting this. And if this works, that only cost me nine quid. So, thank you, YouTube. Now we have come in back to the to the uh, garageios because I'm not one of them nonces that films themselves out on their driveway um, with the neighbours going, "Look at that twat! What a nonce!" So I've come in here to show you this thing, which I'm going to fit to my intake manifold. So if this works which I'm hoping it will, for nine nicker. It will solve my problem, get rid of that noncy engine management light, and life's a good. So the red arrow, no, not them, that red arrow, points to the intake manifold actuator. So this is the manifold while it is out. I've clamped that on to stop that noncy spring dropping down into the engine bay. So, this is what we're going to try and rectify. See what I mean? Ah, fucking spring. Got to get that back in. See what I mean? Now I've got my new bracket on. It stops this coming back like, like that. Beforehand, it was coming down here, which would mean that the flap wasn't uh, rotating to the correct tolerances and raising the fault code. Now, as you can see on this little video, I'm getting all the correct voltages uh, from the ECU to the actuator valve. Right, that is with the new device back in the intake manifold. Let's see if we can clear that noncy code. Have a think. Did Mr. Plum do this? It's bad not to work. Let's have a think, have a think, have a think. Have a think. How can we wind him up next time? I would think read codes right now the codes are going to be stored until I uh, uh, get rid of them so let's do that yes right get in get in you little beauty that is what I am talking about or so I thought. A few turns later, engine management light comes back on, code comes back on the code reader. What a nonce! As you can clearly see from this video, that nonce actuator is still not moving. Mr. Plum was not happy. So it seemed my nine nickel little bracket. Uh, didn't seem to do the job. Um, it seems to be uh, a bit more serious than uh, just a uh, angle change. Now, it could be that it's the actual intake manifold actuator flap valve thingy bod stingy itself, or I replace the entire intake manifold. Now that's about 600 700 nicker. Now Mr. Plum is not someone that's throwing money all over the place. I'm the type of man who will lift the tab up on a tie wrap so I can pull it out and use it again. I'm not the sort of person that goes throwing six, seven hundred, nine hundred, four thousand pounds on a piece of equipment for a car. <sighs> so, as you can see from my little video clips and my still pictures, the, the uh, predicament I am in is what to do next. 
I've checked the whole things. I've checked all the voltages, as you've seen on the videos. So my next step that I'm going with is to buy a new intake manifold actuator thing. Now, I think that's about 60 quid. So we will see how that goes. <sighs> the trials and tribulations of working on your own voitures. <sighs> I am Mr. Plum. We are Plum and Plumber. And I do things the way I do because I don't know what I'm doing. So I shall see you on the next job.